We come up to the end of September and we need to figure out what a realistic price target is for our Aero bags. In today's video, we're going to check that out. But before we do get into that, guys, the Aero Army has been coming in strong over the past couple of videos, guys. We're now at 8.5k. If you're part of the Aero Army and you're not already subscribed, help me get to my goal of 10k subs before the next leg of the ball run. Let's get it. All right, guys. So we've had quite a nice recovery for our portfolio over the past couple of weeks. Who bought Aero at 40 cents? Who bought Aero at 60 cents? Who bought it at 70? What was your price? You can let me know in the comments. Because today, guys, Aero is at 91 cents. And I think we're going to be getting to a dollar sooner than you guys can imagine. Now, not only are we going to be looking at a dollar very soon for Aero, but I think we've got the potential to 10x our aero bag. I'm going to take you through my theory and you guys can let me know what you think. Now, a lot of people compare aero to Uniswap, okay? And I don't really think that's the best way that you should be doing it, guys. I want to compare aero to pancake swap of last cycle. I got in on pancake swap and made a decent bag, okay? It wasn't amazing, but it was all right from from cake and for all of you guys wondering what Pancakes what was, if you don't know what it is, it was it was the Binance alternative to Uniswap, right? So the BNB chain version of Uniswap, right? We got cheaper fees, faster. A lot of shit coins are born from it, and a lot of scams are born from it. So now it's a little bit weird because from the inception to where we are now is around 33 weeks. Okay, so this line here is 33 weeks, but then it also does mark approximately when I did get in on PancakeSwap. I remember it was about $7 that I got in on PancakeSwap at first. And we'd have really gone up from like 70 cents. I think it was around 70 cents at low all the way up 10x by that point. Guys, we're 33 weeks away from the inception. And I promise you, I'm not making this up just for the sake of the video. Like when I, when I checked this this morning, I thought this is so weird. Have to make the video. So we're now... 33 weeks around the same time we've had a peak and then we've come all the way back down that initial move guys was from around nine cents all the way up to if we just say the candle body close it was around a 20x okay if we compare it to cake's first move but all the way to the peak of the candle body close it's a 20x it's exactly the same as what aero did cake then had a retrace if we say from the candle body close all the way down here of around 40 percent if you use the wicks and some unlucky people got in right at the top of the wicks. It was approximately like a 75% correction. Go and check out Aero from the top of the candle body all the way to the bottom around a 75, 80% correction. But it's already looking very similar on the charts for both PancakeSwap and Aero of this cycle. Now, if we were to copy what PancakeSwap did in the last cycle, that would mean that we could be getting around a $5 billion market cap, $6 billion market cap, which would leave us at an 11X from today's prices or around a 20X from when we were getting it at our accumulation level lows at around 50 cents, guys. Now, when we go and check out the fibs, what are the fibs saying? The fibs are saying if we take the weekly chart, and we go all the way from the peak to our new base that we formed. That uh, new base, pardon the pun. That's going to bring us to a blow off top target of $8.77, guys. Okay. So from the 80 cents from the last video when we were looking at it, and it was 70 cents. That's, you know, over a 10x, 10, 11x. We're in the greatest rec timber of all time. Okay. We, we've been ahead of schedule this whole cycle. And we're printing the most bullish September we've ever printed in the history of Bitcoin. We're now having a bullish MACD cross. And then not only that, guys, when you come to the Blowfin account, like I said, you can go and trade air on Blowfin all the way down at 70 cents. If you were to like leverage trade and you traded a move, maybe a five to 10 X leverage, you could be up between, you know, 120 to 240% there guys. And that's the power of spotting the breakouts. You could then use that to reaccumulate a spot position. Right? And it's not only the charts that are showing that Aero is going to be one of the most bullish coins of this cycle. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of new YouTubers come out of the trenches now that Aero is pumping. Where were they when we were making videos at 40 cents? And I was telling you guys, don't panic. Be careful because these guys will come out the trenches and they're going to try and shield a new pumping coin, right? How many people are now shilling Sui to you guys? Look at the total value locked. We've got 768 million TVL. We compare that to the token price. The token price is lagging, guys. You really zoom in, guys. I mean, look at the peaks, right? We're nearly at the exact same peak for TVL that we did print in March. However, the price is half price. We're basically half off. So once this does start to catch up, I mean, it's basically 
free money if you're looking at the TVL. And again, look, Aerodrome is winning base. Aerodrome versus Uniswap daily TVL. Look at the differences. See here, Uniswap is in the pink and Aerodrome is in the blue. You've already overtaken Uniswap, guys. The price will come with it. And how many people are using Uniswap these days? I don't really use Uniswap right? We're not really trading too many ETH coins. A new way to be trading these coins a lot easier. Again, you can have ETH on base. Makes it so much faster, so much cheaper as well. It doesn't make sense to be you know, trade in ERC20 coins at this point. And then another thing we need to do is, is just get ahead of the crowd, guys. I mean, we are, we're at a stage now where, to be honest, you know, Binance and Coinbase, there, there shouldn't really be too much of like butting heads as to say, you know, well, this is a base coin, this is a, a, a BNB coin. You know, they're gonna just want as much revenue as possible. And if they can start to, you know, integrate some base native coins into Binance, then, you know, they're going to be getting money from those fees as well. It's not just going to, you know, Aerodrome's not going to be the be or end or whether or not, you know, Coinbase makes it. Coins are the strongest fundamentals and the coins that are going to be the most popular of the community. And you're starting to see Aero pick up now. But guys, if we are to follow this fib, then that means our next level of resistance is going to be 0382 at $1.15. We've got the 0.5 fib at $1.38. The 0618, which it always has an affinity to at $1.62. Then we're going to be going all the way towards that one at the high of $2.72. Then we can start to say, right, what are the upper targets? We're definitely going to be getting a $3.59 aerodrome up 300% from our position, up nearly a 10x from the absolute lows of this pullback. And then we can really get into party time, probably up here when everybody's in extreme euphoria and they're saying aerodrome to $50, we'll start to scale out our position, guys. But what do you think of the comparisons between Cake and Aerodrome? Do you think they are looking eerily similar? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And again, if you want to support my journey, then smash a like button, drop me a comment, leave a sub if you're new. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Peace.